Hello everyone. What I wanted to do today was take a moment to introduce you to the Cities of Harn Kickstarter. This is from Columbia Games. Columbia Games, if you're not familiar with them, they do a lot of uh, like war games, board games, things of that nature. They also have the Harn World a role playing game, which has been around forever. I don't know exactly when the Harn role-playing game came out, but I do remember that when I was a kid and I had choices between like RuneQuest, D&D, Harn has always been there. Uh, and they're still putting out an amazing amount of content, and that includes this Kickstarter, which is PDFs for cities. Now, they've sent me a couple of these cities, so I, I'm going to show you a couple of them. I'm not, not going to show you all. You know, I have these pieces of tape here that I had for another project. And looking at them bothers me. So let me just take those off. Okay, so what you're going to get, and you can come read the full Kickstarter. I'll put a description or a link in the description of the video, and you can come check out the full Kickstarter. Uh, for one thing, it does start out, though, if you do the $1 pledge. And I thought this was cool. The $1 pledge is going to get you one of these PDFs. And then if you like what you see, you can come back and up your pledge and get the rest of the you know, different le pledge levels if you're interested. And then you can come in and read more about the history of Harn World and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is show you this first one. This is Sheer, I don't know how to pronounce it, Sheeran, Sheeran, that's the first one. And let's see, can you see that? I'm going to unzoom it just a little bit here. All right, now I'm going to flip through this. <clears throat> I didn't want to show every single thing. But just to give you an idea on some of the, the detail. So this one is color. <clears throat> now, I was reading the Kickstarter and uh, the email that uh, Jim from there sent. I think the other cities are black and white or they might come in color. I'm not entirely sure, but I know this one for sure is 100%. This is color. Uh, and this is the one you get at the dollar level. And I tell you what, let me see here. I'm going to scroll past this first picture they warned me about. Um, that is one thing in the description. Because these cities and games is based on like medieval and they're, this is about as simulationist for role playing as you're going to get. Harn is, for me, that was like the hardcore stuff. And you get that here. The cities represent medieval cities. So slaves, all that stuff is in here. So just to kind of warn you, the idea, again, is going for realism and simulationist. Now, that being said, when I was flipping through here, the amazing thing is, one, the detail is phenomenal. History, background, and when you start getting into some of the descriptions of the cities that we'll look at here in a moment, you're going to see they've put a lot of work in here. Here's a section on religion. Also, if you're familiar with their rule books, I like that the main body of the text is over here and then almost every page has some kind of little side note on things. I've always found that really cool. Then just starting right off, boom, we're getting into a city, discussing where the different districts of the city are, right there. And this is probably the one thing I've struggled with the most uh, when I dungeon master, is when we go to like a city. A lot of adventures and supplements have city descriptions. And they're pretty detailed, but I tell you what, I was blown away with the amount of detail here. And this is just starting out. I mean, down to specifically where the apothecaries are, arcane lore, you know, the important things like that. Then where are the courtesans? Where are the embalmers of all things? Glass workers, harpers, hide workers. So I like the index just by like craft so you can find specific, um, you know, because sometimes they're like, hey, where's the magic shop? Uh, we've got a little index here for you. And then, boom, we get right into the subsection of a city. And from here on out, the descriptions are just amazing because it tells you a little bit about, like, that store, a place, whatever. And it gives you, like, the person who runs it as we get in there. So you have the Green Wyvern. Orson of Nimarina runs it as Sharon's best tavern and the preferred stop for visiting gentlefolk. So it's just an amazing amount of descriptions for you. And that's the other nice thing too is even though there's a lot of descriptions, this is generic so that you can use these cities in any game system that you want. So it's not limited to just Harn. Uh, and that's what I thought was also really, really cool. I mean, you could change names so you can make it fit your campaign. But again, 
page after page of detail and the maps too. Once we start getting into some of the detailed locations, you're going to see the amount of work they've put into the maps, which just blew me away. And again, just kind of scrolling through here, I didn't want you to read everything off of my, my tablet. I want you to get in here, give them that dollar, and get this for yourself. And the nice thing is, you download it, it's yours for free for that buck. And then, like I said, they want you to come back if you like it, look at the other pledge levels and see what you can get. Now we're getting into some of the, the detailed map part. And I really like, I mean, this is super detailed. Here's what place was this that they're doing here. The Crimson Palace. Got the cellar, ground floor, second floor, third floor. Again, with a description of what it is. And then on an arena. Like I said, I was just amazed by the amount of detail they've put in here. So, um, what I was reading, some of these are taking information from other city supplements they've done and then combining them into you know kind of updating all the information putting it together so you're getting years of work here in these PDFs alright I know that's kind of a quick run through but again I want to encourage you to go check this out for yourself so we'll look at the other one this is Golotha now there's several cities that you can get or you know look at so I'm just going to show you a couple. Now, again, these are the additional cities. These, these PDFs were black and white. I don't know if the finals will be color or black and white. I think they're going to be black and white. Uh, but again, boom. We're going to start off government, hierarchical council, law enforcement, uh, the guilds. So you can find, you know, like, oh, is there a jeweler? Yes, there is. And then when you get in here, you can get a nice description of the place, maybe who runs it. A fantastic information it takes that takes so much burden off of you as a game master preparing your your campaigns it's just amazing and again as I'm looking at the maps I'm taken back to kind of I remember this amount of detail in like old-school first edition type games and I don't quite see it anymore but I'm seeing it here in Harn and it is amazing there's some maps. These are the kind of maps I remember from old modules, you know? And so it's really cool to see these in here down to the barrels and everything. I know a lot of games now come with like the really nice big battle maps, which is great. Then you can play on them, but seeing the old maps like this is just like, wow. There is so much detail that they've put together for you. And again, just kind of flipping through to show you what you're going to get when you get your, your copies of your PDFs. I'm already thinking, uh, well, see, that's a nice thing. It's not, there's no adventure here, right? You're going to create the adventure, but the information given here is going to make your planning so much easier. Uh, you might feel like, well, that's just too much information, but I tell you what, that's the beauty of it, is these are places you can come back to. You can run entire campaigns around a city now. Uh, and that's what some games do, you know, they give you a city, give you nice descriptions, uh, but this actually gives you a lot of the detail that you could use in your other game settings as well. Nice. Yeah, I flipped through here earlier. There's just so much, and it goes on and on. Now, coming up is what I thought was really cool here. It's, um, I don't know if you want to call it, it's like the floating city, almost. It's just all these ships out there. And at first I was like, what is this? But it's like they, they took a, or whoever this is, took and made a city out of all these boats and just stuck them together. And now you can come down here and find, I, I can just imagine the adventures you get to have here as you send your party through trying to find different things or chase scenes. And again, the detail just goes on and on. Here's your embalmer. Always got to have an embalmer. Your, your party members will have problems. Can't always resurrect them, but you might need to embalm them. There you go. And I wanted to keep this video kind of short because, again, I don't want to just give you everything. But I want you to see this is just, wow, so much here for you. 
And this one is 43 pages, and I think Shiran, Shirin, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. That one is 34 pages, I believe. Here's some color maps at the end. I believe, yeah, that pushed through to the end. So again, I'll put the link for the Kickstarter in the description of the video, but please come check it out for yourself. There is a ton of information in here about what you're gonna get. Yeah, the detailed maps, keys, yeah, it's just a phenomenal amount of stuff that you're going to get in here. And then there's the different cities that you're going to have. And again, I'm just showing you a couple of what's available. Download a map of the world. Woo! Yeah. And then pledge levels right down here. They've got the entire Harn World uh, PDF over... 4,500 pages, it said like over a million words at your fingertips that you could get with the, if you get that pledge level. Some stretch goals, ooh, they unlocked some things there, stretch goals too. So again, don't take my word for it, come and check it out yourself, and I'm going to see, you know, maybe, maybe put up another PDF, kind of run you through it, but they're all kind of pretty much the same. It's just these incredibly detailed descriptions of locations, places, people there. Uh, a lot of the guesswork has been taken out for you as far as creating the city and what's there. And then the fact that they can be used with any game setting, this is just actually great information for you to take into your own game. So thanks for checking it out. And if you go, if you do go check out the Kickstarter and you back it, let me know. I'd be curious to see if... Uh, you know, what you think of this. So thanks for tuning in and we will talk to you later. Bye.